Hi everyone, it's Harry from here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to leave your Microsoft family group in 2024. Without further ado, let's begin. Now to get to this page over here, this family group page, you click on the first link in the description down below and it's going to take you to the Microsoft family safety page. Now once you're on this page, just go ahead and click on this uh, profile icon, your profile icon and it's going to take you to this new page where you're going to scroll down and under member settings, you're going to see the option to leave family group. Click on it, you're going to get this pop up asking if you're sure and just go ahead and click on remove. Now if this option is grayed out for you, it means that it usually means that your account is set to under the age of 18, your Microsoft account is set to under 18 and to fix that all you have to do is head to the main Microsoft website, microsoft.com. It's the second link in the description down below and then go and click on your profile pic on the top right hand corner and then go and click on my Microsoft account. Now once you're on this page, just go and click on your info right over here on the top left hand corner and you're going to be taken to your info page where you can change your date of birth and your country or region. So just go and click on edit profile info and over here you can change your date of birth to over the age of 18 or set it to over the age of 18 and then go and click on save. Now, in some regions like Europe, if you're under the age of 13 or if your Microsoft account is set to under 13, the age for whatever reason, then you may not be able to change the age either. And in that scenario, what you're going to have to do is go ahead and sign in to your organizer's account. So your family organizer, it could be a parent or your sibling or whoever, you're going to have to sign in to their Microsoft account or access their Microsoft account using their devices and then kick yourself out or kick your Microsoft account of the family group. And that should work. And yes, this pretty much concludes the video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.